Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Days after Trump baby balloon, Muslim mayor learns consequences of mocking Trump. London's Muslim mayor, Sadiq Khan, just learned the hard way and is now suffering the consequences of mocking Trump. Protesters were approved to fly a 20-foot baby Trump balloon during their anti-Trump event when he came to visit. The balloon was touted as a blimp which mislead people into thinking it was this giant aircraft that people can fly around in. It was just a few feet bigger than something you can buy at Party City, but it still mocked Trump and the protesters looked silly parading around with it, especially considering Trump isn't even their president. The mayor probably thought it was funny to see a big baby Trump floating around, but then he realized the mistake he made by approving it. It's fine to dislike the president of America and mock him. But with those actions came consequences and now the Muslim mayor is being forced to face his own ridicule as people have crowdfunded to raise money for a giant balloon mocking him. He got to watch Trump be mocked via a balloon, but now he has to approve flying a balloon that mocks him as well. He's basically forced into allowing it so that he doesn't appear to be one-sided and violate anyone's freedom of speech. Even though most people know the mayor of London has ruined their once beautiful town with his rhetoric on crime, terrorism, and overall inability to keep London great. But at least he did one thing right by approving the baby con balloon. Now he gets to watch a giant bag of air mock him as well. It sure shows you how the people of London really feel about their mayor who has ruined one of the world's most beautiful cities. Sadiq Khan has given the green light for a balloon mocking him to fly above the capital after protesters embarrassed Donald Trump by flying a baby blimp above London and Edinburgh. The mayor of London said he would pass an application for a Sadiq blimp. After he allowed the angry Trump baby to fly in Parliament Square during Donald Trump's UK visit on Friday, a crowdfunding campaign has raised more than £50,000 to build the giant balloon of Mr. Khan in retaliation against Trump protesters, far surpassing its target in just days. Speaking on BBC's Andrew Marr show, Mr. Khan said demonstrators could launch a mock inflatable of him if protests were peaceful, safe, and the police approve it and defended his decision to permit the Trump balloon. Mr. Khan said, we have in our city and country a rich history of the right to protest, the right to free speech and the right to express our views. Can you imagine the Founding Fathers in the USA saying we are going to curtail our rights to free speech, we are going to curtail the First Amendment in case somebody may be offended? What you saw on Friday was a peaceful protest done in a safe way. Yesterday in London there were people who wanted to protest and did protest, members of the extreme far-right and pro-Trump protesters. We saw some arrests being made. One of the great things about pluralism and living in a democracy is people get to enjoy the rights and freedoms that have been fought for over many decades. It's acceptable for people to dislike each other because there won't ever be a planet where everyone gets along. It's fine to fly balloons that mock people or things, but always remember that it works both ways. Mayor Khan has done a terrible job with his city. He reminds us of the mayor from Chicago who is also doing a terrible job. Two grown men who both allow their city to fall apart and be dismantled. While the mayor of London has a balloon flown to mock him, then maybe he should think about why people are doing that. Are they tired of their city being ruined under his leadership? It doesn't seem like he's cracking down on the crime or filth. It's just like Chicago's mayor, the city is being torn down to the ground and the people are not happy with it. Crime, filth, and an overall decline in conditions under Democratic mayor leadership is a huge problem among major cities in America, just like it's tearing down London. It's time for people to stop voting for Democrat mayors because obviously it's just not working out. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.